Welcome to Psych IQ, where we unravel the mysteries of human behavior and emotions. Today we delve into the subtle yet telling signs that indicate someone is battling their feelings for you. Whether it's a crush, romantic attraction or deep affection, these signs can offer insight into what someone may not be saying aloud. Understanding these cues can help navigate complex interpersonal dynamics and potentially pave the way for deeper connections. So, let's dive in. 1. Increased eye contact. Eyes are windows to the soul, and when someone is fighting their feelings for you, their gaze tends to linger longer than usual. You may notice them stealing glances or holding eye contact just a beat longer than necessary. This prolonged eye contact signifies a desire to connect and an attempt to convey emotions non-verbally. Eye contact is a powerful form of non-verbal communication that can convey a myriad of emotions and intentions. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, one of the most noticeable signs is an increase in eye contact. Instead of the fleeting glances or occasional looks exchanged in casual conversations, you may find their gaze lingering longer than usual, sometimes even locking with yours in moments of intensity. This prolonged eye contact serves as a window into their inner world, revealing a desire to connect with you on a deeper level. It's a subconscious attempt to bridge the emotional distance and establish a meaningful connection without uttering a single word. Their eyes may sparkle with hidden emotions, reflecting the unspoken longing or affection they're trying to suppress. Moreover, increased eye contact is often accompanied by dilated pupils, a physiological response triggered by arousal or heightened emotions. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, their pupils may involuntarily dilate in response to the emotional intensity of the moment, betraying their inner turmoil despite their best efforts to conceal it. However, interpreting increased eye contact requires context and sensitivity. While it can be a sign of romantic interest or attraction, it's not always indicative of underlying feelings. Some individuals naturally maintain prolonged eye contact as a sign of confidence or sincerity, irrespective of their emotional state. Additionally, cultural norms and personal preferences influence individual differences in eye contact behavior. What may be considered intense eye contact in one culture could be perceived as disrespectful or intrusive in another. Therefore, it's essential to consider cultural nuances and individual differences when deciphering the significance of increased eye contact in interpersonal interactions. In summary, increased eye contact is a potent indicator that someone may be fighting their feelings for you. Pay attention to the frequency, duration, and intensity of their gaze, as well as any accompanying physiological cues, such as dilated pupils. However, always approach interpretation with empathy and awareness of cultural and individual variations in eye contact behavior. 2. Unintentional physical contact. Watch out for those subtle brushes of hands or lingering touches during conversations. When someone is trying to suppress their feelings, their subconscious often betrays them through involuntary physical gestures. These fleeting moments of contact reveal an underlying attraction or affection that they're struggling to conceal. Human touch is a powerful form of communication that transcends words and can convey a myriad of emotions, from comfort and affection to desire and longing. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, one of the subtle yet telling signs is the occurrence of unintentional physical contact. Picture this, you're engaged in a conversation, and amidst the exchange of words their hand brushes against yours, or their arm lightly grazes yours as they gesture animatedly. These fleeting moments of physical contact may seem innocuous at first glance, but upon closer examination they carry deeper significance. Unintentional physical contact occurs when someone's subconscious desires override their conscious attempts to maintain emotional distance. It's a manifestation of their inner turmoil and suppressed emotions, leaking out in subtle gestures that betray their true feelings. These fleeting touches often occur spontaneously, without premeditation or awareness on their part. It's as if their body is subconsciously seeking closeness and connection, despite their conscious efforts to keep their feelings in check. In that brief moment of contact, there's a palpable tension, a spark of electricity that lingers in the air, revealing the underlying attraction or affection they're struggling to conceal. Moreover, the frequency and intensity of unintentional physical contact can vary depending on the individual and the context of the interaction. Some may be more prone to such gestures, 
while others may exhibit them only in moments of heightened emotional intensity or vulnerability. It's essential to distinguish between intentional and unintentional physical contact, as the latter carries more weight in deciphering someone's true feelings. While deliberate touches can be easily misconstrued or misinterpreted, unintentional contact tends to be more genuine and spontaneous, rooted in genuine emotions rather than calculated actions. However, interpreting unintentional physical contact requires context and sensitivity. Cultural norms, personal boundaries and situational factors all influence the meaning and significance of physical gestures. What may be perceived as innocent and friendly in one context could be construed as inappropriate or unwelcome in another. In summary, pay attention to those fleeting moments of physical contact that seem to occur spontaneously and without conscious effort. They may hold the key to unraveling someone's hidden feelings for you, but always approach interpretation with empathy, respect and awareness of individual differences and cultural nuances in physical touch. 3. Nervousness or fidgeting. Anxiety and nervousness often accompany suppressed emotions. If you notice someone fidgeting, playing with their hair or tapping their fingers nervously around you, it could be a sign that they're grappling with their feelings for you. The intensity of their emotions can manifest as restless behavior as they try to maintain composure. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, their internal struggle often manifests in outward signs of nervousness or fidgeting. These physical cues betray the emotional turmoil brewing beneath the surface as they grapple with conflicting desires and the fear of revealing their true sentiments. Nervousness can take various forms, from subtle gestures like tapping fingers or bouncing legs to more overt signs like fidgeting with objects or pacing back and forth. These restless behaviors are symptomatic of heightened arousal and anxiety as their mind races with thoughts of you and the complexities of their emotions. Fidgeting serves as a coping mechanism, a way to release pent-up tension and distract themselves from overwhelming feelings. It's a subconscious attempt to dissipate nervous energy and regain a sense of control over their emotions, albeit momentarily. However, despite their efforts to mask their unease, these fidgety behaviors often betray their inner turmoil to astute observers. Moreover, nervousness can manifest in physiological symptoms such as sweating, trembling, or flushed cheeks, further accentuating their emotional state. These involuntary bodily responses reflect the intensity of their internal conflict and the struggle to conceal their feelings under the facade of composure. In social settings or one-on-one -on -one interactions, you may notice them stumbling over their words, struggling to maintain eye contact, or exhibiting signs of discomfort like shifting their weight or avoiding proximity. These behaviors stem from a fear of vulnerability and the uncertainty of how you'll react if their true feelings are exposed. It's essential to approach their nervousness with empathy and understanding, recognizing that their internal struggle is a reflection of their deep-seated emotions and insecurities. Creating a supportive environment where they feel safe to express themselves can alleviate some of their anxiety and facilitate open communication. However, it's crucial not to misinterpret nervousness as disinterest or lack of attraction. In many cases, nervous behaviors stem from a fear of rejection or the perceived risk of jeopardizing an existing relationship or friendship. By acknowledging their discomfort and offering reassurance, you can help alleviate their fears and foster a more authentic connection. 4. Mixed signals Conflicting behaviors and mixed signals are common when someone is conflicted about their feelings. They might oscillate between moments of warmth and aloofness, leaving you puzzled about their true intentions. This inconsistency reflects their internal struggle between the desire to express their emotions and the fear of rejection or vulnerability. Navigating the intricate dance of human emotions can feel like deciphering a complex puzzle, especially when faced with mixed signals from someone who is fighting their feelings for you. Mixed signals are like emotional riddles, leaving you puzzled and uncertain about the true nature of their intentions. One moment, they're showering you with affectionate gestures and expressions of interest, only to pull back or become distant the next. These fluctuations in behavior can leave you feeling confused and questioning the sincerity of their feelings. Are they genuinely interested, or are they merely toying with your emotions? Mixed signals often stem from internal conflict, 
a tug of war between their genuine desire to connect with you and their fear of vulnerability or rejection. They may oscillate between moments of warmth and aloofness as they grapple with their emotions, unsure of how to proceed without risking heartache or embarrassment. Moreover, external factors such as past experiences, insecurities or conflicting priorities can exacerbate the ambiguity of mixed signals. They may be wrestling with unresolved feelings from previous relationships or grappling with personal challenges that cloud their ability to express themselves authentically. Interpreting mixed signals requires careful consideration of their words, actions and overall behavior patterns. Look for consistency or lack thereof in their interactions with you. Do their actions align with their verbal expressions of interest or do they send conflicting messages that leave you questioning their sincerity? Communication is key when faced with mixed signals. Rather than making assumptions or jumping to conclusions, initiate an open and honest dialogue to clarify your mutual expectations and feelings. Express your concerns and observations in a non-confrontational manner, giving them the opportunity to share their perspective without judgment. However, be prepared for the possibility of discomfort or resistance on their part. Opening up about emotions can be daunting, especially for someone who is wrestling with their feelings for you. Approach the conversation with patience and empathy, allowing them the space and time they need to process their emotions and articulate their thoughts. Ultimately, navigating mixed signals requires a delicate balance of intuition, communication and emotional intelligence. Trust your instincts, but remain open to the possibility of misinterpretation or misunderstanding. By fostering clear and honest communication, you can untangle the web of mixed signals and pave the way for a deeper and more authentic connection. In summary, mixed signals are a common challenge when someone is fighting their feelings for you. Approach interpretation with patience and empathy and prioritize open communication to clarify mutual expectations and feelings. By navigating this emotional maze together, you can foster a stronger and more resilient bond built on trust and understanding. 5. Protective behavior. When someone cares deeply about you but is hesitant to reveal their feelings, they may exhibit protective behavior. This could manifest as offering to help you with tasks, being overly concerned about your well-being, or standing up for you in challenging situations. Their protective instincts kick in as they subconsciously prioritize your happiness and safety. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, they may exhibit protective behavior as a subtle yet significant way of expressing their emotions. This protective instinct stems from a deep-seated desire to safeguard your well-being and happiness, even if they're hesitant to acknowledge or act upon their feelings directly. Protective behavior can manifest in various forms, ranging from subtle acts of care and concern to more overt displays of loyalty and support. For example, they may go out of their way to ensure your safety in potentially risky situations, such as offering to walk you home at night or stepping in to defuse tense conflicts on your behalf. Moreover, protective behavior often extends beyond physical safety to encompass emotional support and validation. They may be quick to defend you against criticism or unwarranted attacks, standing up for you in social settings or offering a listening ear during times of distress. Their unwavering loyalty and commitment to your well-being serve as a testament to the depth of their feelings, even if they're struggling to articulate them openly. Pay attention to the nuances of their protective gestures, as they can offer valuable insights into their underlying emotions. For example, do they exhibit a heightened sense of vigilance or possessiveness when others express romantic interest in you? Are they overly attentive to your needs and preferences, anticipating your desires before you even voice them? However, it's essential to approach their protective behavior with sensitivity and respect for their boundaries. While their actions may stem from genuine feelings of affection and concern, they may also reflect underlying insecurities or a fear of losing you to someone else. Avoid interpreting their protectiveness as a sign of ownership or entitlement, and be mindful of maintaining healthy boundaries in your interactions. Furthermore, Encourage open communication to address any underlying fears or uncertainties that may be driving their protective behavior. Create a safe space for them to express their emotions authentically, without fear of judgment or rejection. By fostering mutual trust and understanding, you can navigate the complexities of their feelings and deepen your connection in the process. 
Protective behavior is a subtle yet telling sign that someone is fighting their feelings for you. Pay attention to their actions and gestures of care and concern as they can offer valuable insights into their underlying emotions. Approach interpretation with empathy and understanding and prioritize open communication to foster a stronger and more authentic connection. 6. Jealousy or irritability. Hidden feelings can evoke jealousy or irritability in unexpected situations. If someone becomes visibly perturbed or defensive when you mention other people or potential romantic interests, it may indicate underlying feelings of possessiveness or envy. Their emotional reaction betrays their internal struggle with jealousy and unspoken desires. When someone is grappling with suppressed feelings for you, jealousy or irritability can unexpectedly rear their heads, serving as revealing indicators of their internal struggle. These emotions, though often perceived as negative, stem from a place of vulnerability and insecurity, hinting at the depth of their hidden affections. Jealousy in particular can manifest in various ways when someone harbors feelings for you but is hesitant to reveal them. They may exhibit signs of possessiveness or territoriality, becoming visibly perturbed or defensive when you interact with others or mention potential romantic interests. This jealousy stems from a fear of losing your attention or affection to someone else, highlighting the depth of their emotional investment in you. Similarly, irritability can surface as a defense mechanism when someone is battling their feelings for you. They may become easily agitated or short-tempered in your presence, seemingly without reason. These outbursts of irritability are often a manifestation of internal turmoil as they struggle to reconcile their desire to express their feelings with the fear of rejection or vulnerability. It's important to approach their jealousy or irritability with empathy and understanding, recognizing that these emotions stem from a place of deep-seated insecurity and unspoken affection. Rather than dismissing their reactions or becoming defensive, strive to validate their feelings and create a safe space for open communication. Encourage them to express their concerns and insecurities without judgment and reassure them of your genuine intentions and feelings. By addressing the underlying causes of their jealousy or irritability, you can foster a deeper sense of trust and emotional intimacy in your relationship. However, it's crucial to set healthy boundaries and avoid enabling toxic behavior patterns. While a certain degree of jealousy or irritability may be understandable in the context of suppressed feelings, it should not be used as a means of controlling or manipulating your actions. Maintain open communication and assert your own needs and boundaries to ensure a balanced and respectful dynamic. In summary, jealousy or irritability can be revealing signs that someone is fighting their feelings for you. Approach these emotions with empathy and understanding and strive to create a supportive environment for open communication. By addressing the underlying insecurities and fears driving their reactions, you can deepen your connection and navigate the complexities of their hidden affections together. 7. Initiating meaningful conversations. Despite their efforts to conceal their feelings, someone fighting their emotions for you may still seek opportunities for meaningful conversations. They might initiate discussions about personal topics, share vulnerable experiences, or ask probing questions to deepen the connection. These conversations serve as a subtle outlet for expressing their emotions indirectly. When someone is struggling with suppressed feelings for you, one subtle yet significant behavior they may exhibit is the initiation of meaningful conversations. These conversations serve as a vehicle for them to explore their emotions, share personal experiences, and deepen the connection between you, albeit indirectly. Initiating meaningful conversations allows them to create opportunities for emotional intimacy and vulnerability without explicitly confessing their feelings. They may choose topics that resonate with their own experiences or interests, seeking common ground and shared understanding as a means of forging a deeper connection with you. Pay attention to the themes and tone of these conversations as they can offer valuable insights into their underlying emotions. Are they more inclined to discuss topics related to love, relationships, or personal growth? Do they open up about their own struggles and insecurities in a way that invites empathy and understanding? Moreover, observe their level of engagement and attentiveness during these conversations. Do they actively listen to your perspectives and insights, demonstrating a genuine interest in your thoughts and feelings? Are they willing to engage in introspective discussions and explore the complexities of human emotions with you?
initiating meaningful conversations also provides them with an opportunity to gauge your receptiveness and interest in deeper emotional connections. By observing your reactions and responses, they can assess whether you share similar sentiments or if their feelings are one-sided. However, it's essential to approach their attempts at initiating meaningful conversations with sensitivity and respect for their boundaries. While they may be seeking emotional intimacy and connection, they may not feel comfortable expressing their feelings outright. Avoid pressuring them to divulge more than they're ready to share and prioritize creating a safe and supportive environment for open communication. Encourage them to express themselves authentically and assure them of your willingness to listen and understand without judgment. By fostering a culture of mutual respect and vulnerability, you can create a foundation for deeper emotional connection and potentially pave the way for them to confront and acknowledge their feelings for you. Initiating meaningful conversations is a subtle yet telling behavior that someone is fighting their feelings for you. Pay attention to the themes, tone and level of engagement in these conversations as they can offer valuable insights into their underlying emotions. Approach interpretation with empathy and respect and prioritize creating a supportive environment for open communication and emotional intimacy. 8. Acts of Thoughtfulness Small gestures of thoughtfulness often reveal suppressed feelings of affection or attraction, whether it's remembering your favorite coffee order, surprising you with little gifts, or offering a listening ear during challenging times. These acts demonstrate their desire to nurture the bond between you. Their actions speak volumes about the depth of their emotions. When someone is secretly harboring feelings for you, they often express their emotions through acts of thoughtfulness. These gestures serve as subtle yet meaningful ways of demonstrating their affection and care, even if they're hesitant to verbalize their feelings directly. Acts of thoughtfulness can take various forms, ranging from small everyday gestures to more elaborate displays of affection. For example, they may surprise you with your favorite coffee or snack, remember important dates or events in your life, or offer a helping hand when you least expect it. These acts of thoughtfulness are not random or coincidental, rather, they are carefully planned and executed with the intention of making you feel appreciated and valued. They reflect a genuine desire to brighten your day and enhance your well-being, even if it means stepping out of their comfort zone or going the extra mile to do so. Moreover, pay attention to the consistency and frequency of these acts of thoughtfulness. Do they occur sporadically or as part of a pattern of behavior? Are they tailored to your preferences and interests? demonstrating a genuine understanding of your likes and dislikes. Acts of thoughtfulness also serve as a way for them to subtly communicate their feelings without explicitly saying the words. Through their actions, they convey their affection and admiration for you, hoping that you'll recognize and appreciate their efforts, even if they're unable to express their emotions verbally. However, it's essential to approach their acts of thoughtfulness with sensitivity and gratitude, recognizing the vulnerability and courage it takes for them to express their feelings in this manner. Avoid dismissing or overlooking these gestures, as they often represent the most authentic and heartfelt expressions of their affection. Encourage open communication and create a supportive environment where they feel comfortable expressing their emotions freely. By acknowledging and reciprocating their acts of thoughtfulness, you can foster a deeper sense of connection and intimacy in your relationship, paving the way for them to eventually confront and acknowledge their feelings for you. Acts of thoughtfulness are subtle, yet meaningful expressions of affection that someone is fighting their feelings for you. Pay attention to the consistency and sincerity of these gestures and approach interpretation with empathy and gratitude. By fostering open communication and appreciation, you can deepen your emotional connection and create a foundation for mutual understanding and vulnerability. 9. Mirroring your behavior. Subconsciously mirroring someone's behavior is a subconscious attempt to establish rapport and connection. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, they may find themselves unintentionally mimicking your gestures, expressions, or speech patterns. This mirroring reflects a deep-seated desire to align themselves with you on a subconscious level. When someone is struggling with suppressed feelings for you, they may subconsciously mirror your behavior as a means of establishing rapport and connection. Mirroring is a subtle yet powerful form of non-verbal communication, where they unconsciously mimic your gestures, expressions, and body language in an attempt to align themselves with you on a deeper level. 
pay attention to subtle cues such as posture, hand gestures, facial expressions, and even tone of voice. You may notice that they adopt similar mannerisms or gestures when interacting with you, almost as if they're synchronized with your movements. This mirroring behavior occurs spontaneously and without conscious effort, highlighting the subconscious desire to establish a sense of connection and rapport with you. Mirroring your behavior serves several purposes for someone struggling with suppressed feelings. Firstly, it creates a sense of familiarity and comfort, signaling to you that they're attuned to your thoughts and emotions. By mirroring your gestures and expressions, they seek to convey a sense of empathy and understanding, fostering a deeper sense of connection between you. Moreover, mirroring behavior can also serve as a form of subtle flirtation, signaling romantic interest or attraction without explicitly stating their feelings. By mimicking your body language and expressions, they subtly communicate their admiration and affection for you, hoping that you'll pick up on these cues and reciprocate their feelings. However, it's essential to approach interpretation of mirroring behavior with caution and sensitivity. While mirroring can be a sign of genuine interest and affection, it can also be a learned behavior or social cue without romantic implications. Consider the context of the interaction and the individual's overall behavior patterns before drawing conclusions about their feelings. Encourage open communication and create opportunities for deeper connection and intimacy. By fostering a supportive and understanding environment, you can create a safe space for them to express their emotions authentically and confront their feelings for you. Mirroring your behavior is a subtle yet telling sign that someone is struggling with suppressed feelings for you. Pay attention to their gestures, expressions and body language and approach interpretation with empathy and understanding. By fostering open communication and creating opportunities for Dita 10, longing glances and smiles, Perhaps the most telling sign of someone battling their feelings for you is the longing glances and genuine smiles they can't suppress. Even amidst their efforts to conceal their emotions, their eyes betray the depth of their feelings, radiating warmth and affection whenever they look at you. These genuine moments of connection speak volumes about their inner turmoil and unspoken desires. Longing glances and genuine smiles are perhaps the most unmistakable signs that someone is wrestling with suppressed feelings for you. These non-verbal cues speak volumes about their inner turmoil and unspoken desires, offering a glimpse into the depth of their emotions despite their efforts to conceal them. Longing glances are moments frozen in time where their eyes linger on you with an intensity that transcends words. Whether across a crowded room or during intimate conversations, their gaze holds a magnetic pull drawing you into their world of unspoken longing and desire. These prolonged looks speak volumes about the depth of their feelings, conveying a sense of admiration, affection and yearning that words alone cannot express. Similarly, genuine smiles are windows to the soul, revealing the warmth and affection bubbling beneath the surface. When someone is fighting their feelings for you, their smiles take on a radiant quality, lighting up their face with a genuine sense of joy and happiness in your presence. These smiles are not mere polite gestures, but genuine expressions of delight and admiration, reflecting the depth of their emotional connection with you. Pay attention to the frequency and duration of these longing glances and smiles, as well as the context in which they occur. Do they occur spontaneously and frequently, or are they fleeting moments amidst a sea of neutral expressions, are they accompanied by other non-verbal cues such as dilated pupils or a softening of facial features, indicating heightened emotional arousal? Longing glances and genuine smiles also serve as a form of silent communication, conveying a message of affection and admiration that words cannot fully capture. By allowing their eyes and smiles to speak for them, they offer you a glimpse into the depth of their feelings, inviting you to reciprocate their unspoken affections. However, it's essential to approach interpretation of these non-verbal cues with empathy and sensitivity. Longing glances and genuine smiles can be ambiguous, and their meanings may vary depending on the individual and the context of the interaction. Consider their overall behavior patterns and communication style before drawing conclusions about their feelings. Encourage open communication and create opportunities for deeper connection and intimacy. By fostering a supportive and understanding environment, you can create a safe space for them to express their emotions authentically 
and confront their feelings for you. In summary, longing glances and genuine smiles are powerful indicators that someone is grappling with suppressed feelings for you. Pay attention to these non-verbal cues and approach interpretation with empathy and understanding. By fostering open communication and creating opportunities for deeper connection, you can pave the way for them to acknowledge and confront their feelings for you. Recognizing the signs that someone is fighting their feelings for you can be both enlightening and challenging. While these cues offer valuable insight into their emotions, it's essential to approach the situation with empathy and understanding. Encourage open communication and create a safe space for them to express themselves authentically. Remember, navigating emotions requires patience and mutual respect. Have you ever experienced these signs firsthand? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and explore the intricacies of human relationships together. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights from PsychIQ.